Hello YouTube, VST here, Venaspi Tech. Android 13 Beta 1 is out. Now, yesterday, Dave Burke, who is a Vice President of Engineering, published a blog post on the Android developer's blog and announced that the Beta 1 is out. I have already installed this on my phone. It's Tiramisu, it's TPB1. This is the current build from yesterday. So it's already April, it's actually almost the end of April, so it's almost May. Dave Burke was saying that they are making steady progress, refining all the features and the stability of Android 30. Okay, so there's some improvements and there are also a lot of new features. And I want to focus this video on showing you all the things that we can touch with the hand and see with the eyes. Now, why is this first beta very important? Because this is no longer a DP or developer preview. This beta one right now is aimed towards all the developers to make sure that all of their applications are fully tested, but it's also a first option for some of the users, the regular users, to just experience Android 13 on their devices. Even more so, this beta is not only limited to Pixel devices. Google already released the GSI ROMs, which means that you have a phone that supports the Project Treble, you are able to load the GSI ROM and test the Android 13 on your devices, which also will mean that the other vendors like Xiaomi and OnePlus and Samsung will accelerate their work and very, very soon official builds with MIUI, One UI, and etc. based on Android 13 are going to be available. So now that Google has started the beta releases, we are at beta 1, we're going to get another beta hopefully next month, May, and then it is said that the Android 13 is going to reach the platform stability, which means that June and July, we are going to be at the platform stability. And then after July, hopefully August, September, the final release from Android 13 is going to be available. And this also means, guys, that around July, August and September, we're going to be getting the first Android 13 versions from all the other major OEMs. So. Enough talking guys, let me start and show you all the new things that really matter in the first Android 13 beta. And before I start the video guys, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like videos like this. Also don't forget to toggle the notification bell and every time I do upload a new video, you're gonna get notified and I upload a lot of new videos. One of the first major changes actually is welcoming us on the welcome screen. Now guys, on this screen here, you already are noticing two of the main changes. This this is this new style of progress bar now. Of course, I have muted the music to avoid any copyright strikes, but I'm right now playing a song from Spotify, and this here is the progress bar. Now, yeah, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but it is what it is. I would appreciate, though, if Google really will make this with a toggle. So let's say if you want to get like a classic style of bar, to just be able to choose that. Or let's say if you wanna get this new type of bar, then yeah, you can choose this one. So this here is the first big notice. A second one, guys, and it's also very important for people like me, they do have a lot of smart things at home, like vacuum cleaners, like purifiers, like smart light, and etc. Before, in order for you to control your smart home devices, you had to unlock the phone and then use it. Right now, we have here a shortcut to Google Home, which makes this now very, very easy. So now I can control all of my lighting without actually having to unlock the phone. So this here is one of the first big things besides, of course, the very strange progress bar. Another thing, this is guys, the third change. When you enter here, your dialer, you're gonna get access directly to emergency. This is also something new. When I click on emergency, you're gonna get this screen here. From this screen, you can dial 112 or 991, whatever, right? But right now we have this emergency option and it's also incorporated. You can also go and check your emergency information, your contacts and etc. And of course, from here also open personal safety for which of course you will need to unlock the phone. All right, so guys, we are still at the home screen and already three new changes. I think that's a very nice start, right? On the home screen, you do have also access to your notifications and they're grouped here and it looks really very nice. Just one click will give you access to all of your notifications. You can read them, you can just dismiss them and then boom, you're back on the lock screen. Also, I do have the feeling that unlocking with the fingerprint is now a bit quicker, faster compared to what it used to be when the Pixel 6 series launched. Let me just do this one more time. Unlocking the phone, boom. Right now, I think it's already optimized to a level that is acceptable. While I'm at the home screen, let me show you some of the new exciting changes. Holding the finger like this will give me access to the wallpaper styles, the widgets and home settings. If I go to the wallpaper styles, guys, 
you're going to see again this familiar menu. Now, just pay attention, guys. Wallpaper colors, I have already a lot of options. So four here, another four here. Okay, now we have 12, 16 options to choose from the wallpaper colors. This is really the raw material you design power. If I go to the basic colors, it's going to be the same. I have four options here, four here. Okay, so we have here 12 and then 16 options, guys. This is really very nice and it's a nice addition. So wallpaper colors, let's just choose something and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm applying this. See, now every time I do select something, the material UI design will change everything. It will change all the colors, it will change all the toggles. All these options right now are very, very unified and I'm a big fan of material UI. I do realize that's not really a very enhanced feature and etc. but it's also not a gimmick, right? And for people like me, this is something very important. I would love to have this everywhere on Android. And I think it's already widely implemented. We do have this also in One UI 4.1, which is based on Android 12. Now we're gonna get all these options with Android 13. So more options, more colors. We still have here the dark theme toggle, okay? And we have this new thing here called the theme icons, which is still not so, so good. You can just see some of the icons, specifically the stock one, do get themed in YouTube, but you can just see most of my icons still remain like this. So it's gonna be hard for Google to support really all of the icons. There are some third-party icon packs that do support more icons, but right now I am just deciding to stay with the stock one. Okay, more changes, guys. Let me show you something inside the quick menu. What do you notice, right? Do you notice something? We have something that we do have already on the Samsung One UI and we actually had it back in the pixels. It the do not disturb mode. At some point it was called the priority mode, right? But then Google realized that, yeah, priority mode doesn't really sound so good. So they renamed it back to do not disturb. If you hold the finger like this, do not disturb, you can turn it on, okay? And you can then choose what can interrupt you while you're in this mode. So you can have some people that will be able to dial you once you're in the DND mode. You also can choose from all of your applications, applications that will not be affected, also alarm schedules. You can also do a duration for the quick settings and display options for the hidden notifications. So the do not disturb mode is here again. It was called the priority mode. Now it's back to do not disturb, which I think is actually a good change. Some of the best things in Android 13, guys, is this new permission manager. So let me just show something. If I do like this and I do like that, we're gonna get here something called two active apps. While I click on this, yeah, I can see that Spotify is active and Garmin Connect is active. So right now I can just choose to stop and boom, now Spotify will be stopped. See, it's no longer playing. And I do believe that Google are building a strong foundation for Android 13 and apps permission management. We have all the nice toggles here, like camera access and microphone, they are still there, but we do have also here this more advanced task manager that will allow you to kill individual apps and you don't really have to go inside the Recents menu. Inside the display screen, for all the phones that do support QHD+, and FHD+, you are going to be able to find a resolution switch screen. Right now, I don't have it because I'm using the Pixel 6 for poor edition. In the previous version of Android 13, the Developer Preview 2, once you decide to choose the silent mode, all of your haptics were disabled. Right now, that's not the case. I am now on silent mode, and if I take the phone and try to access the Recents menu, I still am able to feel the vibration. This is actually very nice because now we have the option to go inside the silent mode and still try to keep your haptics. And of course, this is also configurable. Vibration and haptics are still there. And although I am using the silent mode, I am still able to use the vibration and the haptics and actually try to set it up. This was not working. This was disabled in the previous Android developer previews. There are also enhancements to the clipboard. Let me show you something interesting I found out. I'm here in this web page. I'm gonna select everything. Okay, copy this. Once I copy this, guys, I'm getting here the overlay. See here, when I'm pasting, I'm getting this message, Telegram pasted from your clipboard. Now, this doesn't work all the time. Let me just show you. I'm not sure why, right? See, I have to do it like five times to get it. But once it's there, you can really see what are you pasting and from which application. So this is very, very useful. Let's now go in the settings and see all the changes there. I'm showing you right now the beautiful Android 13 menu. By the way, guys, I am starting really to love this design. These big buttons here, it's very useful also for one hand operation. Okay, clicking on the settings, guys. If I go to display, guys, and just scroll down, we have screen saver. And right now, the new change is that we have now a toggle for the screen saver, right? So if you don't wanna get a screen saver, guys, you can boom, just use this toggle and it's gonna be completely disabled. Here we have the clock, we have colors, and we have photos. And the best thing is, of course, that you can click 
preview, all right? Now, who would need a screensaver on a phone? Yeah, that's an interesting concept, but it's there, all right? Let me just share the colors. It's there. And it's beautiful. And maybe for those AMOLED displays, yeah, it's still better to have something like this than just some pixels staying in one place. You know why. Now let me show you some of the default behavior. I'm playing a song on Spotify. If I do like this, guys, I'm getting back to this very nice display. Now pay attention. What happens if I do something like that, guys? See how everything is moving, right? And I just think that this is not going to be the final version. I do believe that this needs a bit more work. See here, this is not so unified and the way things move. Yeah, I think this is probably just again the better version. I really hope that they are going to make it a bit more unified so that it doesn't really feel that disconnected. But overall, guys, all the animations are really flawless. Let me show you some of the animations. Now opening Spotify, closing, okay, let's try to open some of the applications. By the way, you know, Android 13 on the Pixel 6, guys, this really runs very, very smooth. Gmail, okay, let's open the Roblox. Oh, something I almost forgot. Let me show what happens when I just double tap the back of the phone. Boom, Snapchat is launching, guys. One more time. Double tap on the phone and Snapchat is gonna get launched. The first time I launched Snapchat on Android 13, it asked me to just use this gesture if I want and then I said, okay, that's fine. So now tapping on the back will trigger some actions. One more time, double tap, boom, it's there. And this also works natively, so no other apps and etc. A lot of the changes are changes that you cannot really see with your eyes and touch with your fingers right now, but they will happen from here. And actually, yeah, see here, stylus handwriting. When enabled, current input method receives stylus motion event if an edit is focused, which means that Android 13 is also going to support stylus. This thing here, guys, also got a big update. This is called the Android resource economy because Google is restricting what applications can do when they run in the background and, of course, what they cannot do. And Android 13 is not an exception, okay? The way this is used, instead of creating foreground services, Google is encouraging all developers to use some APIs like the work manager, like the alarm manager. When I click inside, guys, you can just see alarm manager, job scheduler, and etc. So all of those changes are now not so transparent for us, the end users, right? But starting from Android 13, this new system, the Android resource economy, will manage how the applications are gonna queue tasks. So I know right now this probably doesn't really make sense, but it's something important and it will further be updated. Last but not least, Google unified the search bar that is on the home screen and also on the app drawer. So what we get here is pretty much the same what we get there as well. So let me just try to search for, let's say, PlayStation 5. Yeah, we got some of the results. If I start typing PS5, I'm probably gonna get the same result here as well. What is very interesting for me is that I no longer am able to get access to, uh, let's say, volume control. See, when I type volume, usually it was so integrated that I was able to just manipulate my volume settings from here. Yeah, it's probably a bug. Probably something will be changed in the next betas, but it is what it is. All right, quick look at the volume rocker. Okay, it's pretty much still the same. What I don't like is this. I want that they embrace something like Samsung One UI, everything to be represented like this with big pillars, but it is what it is right now. A quick look at the left where we have the Google Discover. Yep, everything works perfect. And yeah, all the animations, everything is very, very smooth. Let me also show you the recent menu. Boom, recent menu. Okay, okay, one more time. Yeah, let me also guys show you camera opening. So that's camera opening, okay. Camera closing, opening, closing, opening, closing, opening, closing. Yeah, I don't think that people can complain with the user interface. Now here, I mean zero lag guaranteed. All right guys, one last look at this crazy new progress bar stylus and yeah that's gonna be it guys i really hope that you have liked the video if that's the case don't forget to really like the video subscribe for the channel guys and please you and your families stay safe with that said vst over and bye